Red Dot United has voiced serious concerns regarding the recent layoffs at Dyson and Samsung, which have left many workers in Singapore facing sudden retrenchments. In a statement issued on Wednesday, RDU highlighted that in July 2023, Dyson's founder, James Dyson, was awarded the Public Service Star for his significant contributions to the Singapore economy. Yet, less than a year later, Dyson's Singapore staff were shown the door, with what seems to be a cavalier attitude towards their well-being. RDU criticized the ineffectiveness of unions under the National Trades Union Congress in supporting workers facing retrenchment, echoing earlier controversies such as the Lazada layoffs, where unions appeared reactive rather than proactive in advocating for their members' interests. The party pointed out that during the Lazada incident, the union struggled to provide concrete support to workers, leaving many feeling neglected. In an earlier statement, the United Workers of Electronics and Electrical Industries expressed disappointment at receiving just one day's notice from Dyson, deeming it insufficient for meaningful dialogue. Although the union has escalated the matter to the Ministry of Manpower and expressed willingness to support affected workers, it also clarified that these retrenched staff fall outside the union's scope of representation under the collective agreement with Dyson. RDU said this leaves the union's response looking inadequate and toothless offering little assurance to workers in such vulnerable positions. RDU also criticizes the government's trampoline approach, which has been promoted by Mr. Thoman Shanmugaratnam, the current president, and NTUC's chief Ng Chi Meng. RDU said, while the rhetoric sounds promising, affected workers feel they are landing on bare concrete without a safe bounce back. How has NTUC's symbiotic relationship with the PAP helped the workers in this instance? RDU further questioned the adequacy of the government's Skills Future Job Seeker Support Scheme, arguing that $6,000 over six months is insufficient to ensure genuine job security and support for those affected. A temporary financial cushion is no substitute for real job security. Whatever help scheme the government rolls out should not place additional pressure on vulnerable workers, many of whom need more comprehensive support to regain their footing. RDU highlighted that workers in Singapore are facing a double blow due to ineffective unions and a government safety net that is insufficient to support those in need. This is because the unions, which should be standing strong for workers' rights, are often perceived as being too closely aligned with the ruling party's goals rather than focused on the needs of the workers. It is no surprise, then, that many of those affected feel alone and uncertain about their future. RDU reiterated its long-standing call for stronger measures to ensure fair treatment of workers during retrenchments. The party stressed that layoffs have significant personal impacts, affecting individuals, families, and overall societal well-being, rather than being seen solely as economic occurrences. RDU proposed specific solutions to enhance support for laid-off workers, such as improving unemployment insurance and allowing central provident fund members, particularly older workers, to borrow from their accounts during unemployment. This would provide meaningful financial relief and help ease the stress of job transitions. RDU underscored the urgency for both the government and unions to demonstrate their commitment to protect the livelihoods of Singaporeans amidst ongoing layoffs.